Oh, Salapolesa, Ego Kufumba, Mwana Mwana Salapolesa, Ego Kufumba, Salapolesa. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, two videos in a week. After months of disappearing. Must be a lucky day. But yeah, um, welcome back. Let's get into it. Oh, before we get into it, please like, share, subscribe. Um, it is something that I'm learning to do. Telling people to like, share, and subscribe. And swipe up, just in case you see this anywhere. Like, swipe up. But so your skin. So um, today we are having tuna in tomato salsa. This is something I had at a restaurant some time. Mm -hmm. And um, you know those chefs that come and explain how they cook. Um, these are the ingredients. Sesame seeds, onions, soy sauce, shallots, one jalapeno. Um, that's um, half a pound of tuna. And yeah, you chop everything up. So I like um this is partially fresh and partially um seared um so um we are going to sear the tomatoes the jalapeno i really wanted the jalapeno fresh but um it was in the seared list so um we chop it up and put it in the seared but i think it can actually it tastes actually i think it tastes i'll try it with you know with a fresh jalapeno but yeah um then you slice up your shallots um i apologize about um the video um stand today <coughs> i was recording thinking i mean to be the more frame Mukumbe, enemy of progress <coughs> these things don't want me to be youtube famous man but yeah here we are so um you slice up your your shallots man <laughs> small on red onions are called shallots <laughs> then spring onions like there's a lot of onions for this recipe <laughs> and have you realized that there are no spices um reason being um a tuna absorbs like um so many like it becomes something else so it would lose flavor if you flavor it with like um spices so um these are the the ingredients that we are going to pan sear so now these are the roots of the spring onions eh? i was going to throw them out but then the african enemy is like you know what you have eaten was busy put them back so i put them back <laughs> and i put them in the dish of the things that we are going to pan sear um so i washed my washing board because then i i did what my pineapple i know we are going to add everything together but i just don't want the pineapple to taste like onion i don't know if it was making sense i don't know what was that a glitch but yeah um this is the pineapple from the ugandan iced tea the munana see thank you guys for liking the video i love and appreciate y'all um so you slice up your um pineapple in two cubes guys i'm not a professional chef so you do not expect slices to be looking like um you know professional i'm trying my level best here yeah you may be coming for my um for my for my slices but yes slice up your pineapple um it it doesn't need to be plenty because remember we are using only half a pound of of tuna and yeah so you put your pineapple in um the fresh dish so um this is our tuna um i bought it from a h market because um i don't know um you, you know that store that connected to to the through the billionaires going yeah um, there are times when it brings things uh, that are like not really, you know, because um, this is the other thing. I online shop groceries too, because every time I go to the grocery store, I buy things that are unnecessary. 
So yeah, um, I washed all the blood, but then I realized this thing, I do not know the temperatures is, you know, um, that um, I kept, the, like the tuna in the restaurants are kept at. So I was like, if I eat this thing fresh, what if I get like salmonella and all these things? So what I decided to do, I had to think, because I know I wanted to have it fresh, but I knew you could pan sear it for 45 seconds and it still stays fresh. Um, but um, to pan sear it, you know, like, like f because I wanted it fresh, it didn't need to be marinated or anything. Um, but um, to pan sear it, just in case you're going to try the recipe and you're going to pan sear it, first marinate it in, like, let it like stay overnight in like um soy sauce um yeah so like the flavor will be different but right now it's looking like um <laughs> um it's looking like um answers on chicken <laughs> well i you see you see you see uh -huh. um right now you know i i didn't want my uh, my camera to trip over this is why it was a little bit stuck <laughs> Because I hadn't planned to pan sear it, I didn't have the right equipment. But yeah, put it in the pan for 45 seconds. You know, just to kubuzabuza, it will stay fresh. But um, it's just to kubuzabuza the embera, you know. <laughs> yes, um, then um, 45 seconds. Guys, believe me, you. I counted, all right? Let me get it out. Um, I wanted it to like um, fry everywhere. I could have used just um, like a dash of oil on it, um, but like I said, I hadn't planned to pan sear it. So. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's how it's looking. Like and season chicken. But remember, this recipe doesn't need like spices because they get absorbed in there so um two tablespoons of sesame seeds um, yeah and i'm um, just stir it in the oil so they can brown um you can roast them in the oven um, but they're already roasted um, i don't want them to brown or darken or blacken you know to like burn i wanted them to brown Sorry for my, you know, I wanted them to brown, but I didn't want them to blacken. Like, you know, test burnt. So. And then, yeah, so these are the ingredients that we were supposed to pan I'm not in blue zone with these days. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. You know anything with onions test amazing. So, yeah, just um the ingredients you know as you can see i'm not pressing i just don't want them to like attach on the ground but i'm not pressing my tomatoes i just want them to you know um so <laughs> thing is um as you can see the empty thing i have i left this in the front you know to understand that um i checked my munio my salt and I hadn't done a refill, but um, I used pink Himalaya, as you can see. I just decided to get for my refill chini and kini, and it's a pinch. Why I used little salt? It's because I do not know the salt content in this soy sauce. Um, so I didn't want to um, put like salt, a lot of salt then. Um, the soy sauce also has its own sodium. And then I get things of sodium related issues <laughs> quick gab anywho yeah so you cover this for exactly four minutes on medium high now we come back to our tuna tuna <laughs> fyi this thing is expensive expensive <laughs> but yeah as you can see it's still fresh but pansy a bit it's still fresh so yeah um you cut it into pieces 
um, I don't know if this recipe originated from Hawaii because the chef that actually told me was someone. Yeah. Mm. Well, if you want to know the restaurant that I ate this from, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, but please, guys, eh? Like, I know, you know, I haven't been on YouTube a lot, but, um, you know how life has been, COVID and everything. But yeah, I am back. You see, I am back. But yes, as you can see, it is still fresh. It's still rare. Um, so you put your rare tuna in your, your bowel that was supposed to be for raw. You put it in there and um, you grab your... Um, Oh, you see, it looks amazing. Yeah, my Africans are like, what are you eating? Gro, gro. Well, <laughs> you gotta, you know, like we are, we are in a world of, of immigrants. You need to learn like um, how, how to, to, to love other diversities and cultures. And so, yeah, this is it. Magnificent. Look at that. Look at that. It looks amazing, right? <laughs> and, ooh, did you see that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I am, let me tell you one. Chopsticks can play me. Chopsticks can play me. If I had videos of chopsticks playing me, they would be near. <laughs> Yeah, but um, you star, you star your um, <laughs> what you, church of baby, but yeah, that is our dish right there. <coughs> this thing's for me, chopsticks. It's that awkward moment eh? when um, you have a high hands on the stove. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get a fork. Mm, that whole thing was hot. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.